Um, so the first question I wanted to ask you is, can you tell me about, you came out in 1961, mm -hmm. can you tell me about your first night in a gay bar? My first night in a gay bar was actually in Dallas in about 1958 or 59 because my sister was already out, as she was already a lesbian. I didn't yet realize I was, although I certainly had crushes on all the women. I don't know why I didn't know until I was 21, but I was 18. And we went to La Bousse Le Trois. It was a gay bar in Dallas, which I thought was really swank, uh, with my sister and her friends. And I don't know if it was that swank or just that I was, I was underage and it was really great to be in a bar anyway, because I was used to the shit kickers out in the podunk out in the panhandles, American Legion halls with bootleg, and here's this gay bar and all these wonderful gay people and my friends. They were they were my sister's friends, the gay men, the gay the gay women that I knew. Um, I would visit her in Dallas from my home out in the Panhandle, our parents' home. But I didn't, uh, when in 1961, she moved to San Antonio. I dropped out of college and I went to San Antonio, tagging after my big sister. And I've soon tagged after more ways than <laughs> I would have supposed at the time. And so in 1961, we went to this place, it was called The Country. It was called The Country because it was out on the Fredericksburg Highway outside San Antonio was outside the city limits, and it was it was a gay bar. It was owned by the uh, Maybell and B. I think they were uh, two uh, two old crusty <laughs> lesbians of <laughs> my age. I was twenty one then, um, and you could dance. And I again, I, I I had not yet come out. I came out a few months later. I did. It was it was just. It's not like it was a new thing to me because I was so used to my sister and her friends and visiting her and all the gay parties. But it was it was so much fun and this was a place where they could dance and the men were dancing together, the women were dancing together. And then all of a sudden something went zingo with me and I went up and started to flirt with the bartender who was a woman. <laughs> and something was beginning to stir in moi. <laughs> and uh, went to the, the other gay bar by the time I left San Antonio in 63, I was there between 61 and 63. By the time I left, there were m quite a few gay bars, but the other one at this time was called the Acme. And the Acme was a dump, 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 but I loved it, I loved it. Um, well, it let me. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> I know, you know, we talked about you, uh, you were a publisher, and this yes. is one of your books. Um, shit Kickers and Other Texas <laughs> Stories. Yeah. And you talk in this book about the Acme Bar. Mm -hmm. So um, as a little intro, because we're going to start talking about the Acme Bar a little bit, why it was so special, could you read that little opening from your book about the sure. Acme Bar? I would be happy to. 